Hi, this is Andrew with Cody Manufacturing, and today we're going to talk about seam integrity testing equipment. We have John here from CMC Conca, and we are going to talk about seam scan integrity, what you get with the standard Cody package, and just learn about seams altogether. John, how you doing today? I'm great. Awesome. So, as you get into canning for the first time, one of the things that is challenging is that the lid and the can come as two separate pieces and we have to adhere them together. It is done through a double seam, which means that the can and lid overlap with one another. A standard can seamer is going to have an operation one and an operation two. Your operation one creates the bend and the second operation pounds it into place. Now, one of the big challenges that uh, people have when they invest in canning equipment like this, and one of the things that our sales team stresses all the time, is that you can have the best water, the best hops, the best malt, the best brewer, the best recipe. You can even buy the best canning line. But if you don't dial in your seams, test them regularly, understand what the numbers represent, what micro adjustments to make into the seamer, you will have dissolved oxygen ingress into your package. It's going to lower your shelf stability, make your product not taste as good as it possibly can. And so we're always going to promote the education first on how to test your seams and then maybe some really cool functionality and features that you could purchase secondarily to uh, improve the process. For the majority of craft customers that are going at a small scale, have a limited budget, they're going to invest in a Cody toolbox. Inside the Cody toolbox is a lot of the components that you can't just buy at a hardware store, they're all the seam specific components. And one of them is a micrometer. What a micrometer does is it takes a really tiny measurement going this way and this way to give you a, a, an idea, a snapshot of what's happening in that double seam. Having those two measurements gives you some of the ammunition you need to make the adjustments on the seamer. But if you really truly want to know what's going on, the only way to do it is what we call destructive testing, which is actually cutting off the side here, taking a high resolution picture of the double seam, putting it up on a computer screen, and having the software integrated by this company create all those measurements so that you really have the perfect snapshot of what's happening in the can. So I'm gonna pass it over to John here to kind of explain what's the process. So you have a, a full can that left your canning line. How does this equipment ensure that the seam integrity is good. Okay. So first of all, we have digital micrometers. So similar theory to the micrometer there, but in everything we do with this equipment is provide you with tools that are frankly more accurate and more repeatable. So if I use this equipment or you use this equipment or anyone else uses this equipment, they're going to get the same numbers because uh, the, the, the knowledge, the accuracy, the technology is in the equipment. It doesn't matter who uses it. So before we do anything else, before we cut the seam and empty the can, um, we will use digital micrometers. So in this case, a, uh, you know, a microscope that is going to, or a micrometer rather, that is going to allow you to measure the seam thickness just as we talked about with the micrometer. The difference here is that this is completely operator independent. So the can is held in place in the same way each time with the same fixed spring pressure. And again, you use it, I use it, we're gonna get the same seam thickness numbers. Um, we do the same thing for the countersink depth, optionally. And these gauges connect digitally to the computer, so all of your data is saved, all of your test information is there. Next, we're gonna empty the beer. We're going to clean, drain, you know, dry the can, and we're going to cross-section it on a precision saw. So it's, it's critical that we cut perpendicular to the seam. Again, what we're actually measuring is the quality of the cut. So we have a, a very accurate saw, which operates at 2,800 RPM, which is the optimum speed for cutting aluminum or cutting aluminum. And um, it's going to make sure it's cut in exactly the same orientation and place each time. We then, may I have that? Thank you. We end up with a cut like this, and we're going to place that on this VSI here, which is essentially a fixed focus microscope. It's got a high resolution USB 3 camera magnification. So we're gonna magnify this seam image around 50 
or 60 times. A light source. And this image is, is captured and sent to the computer where our software, using a patented algorithm, automatically measures all of the characteristics of the seam. The seam height, the cover hook, the body hook, the overlap, the seam gap. So again, two things. One, it's measuring it really accurately and quickly. In less than a second, all of those things are measured. And again, the software is doing the measurement, so it's completely repeatable. Doesn't matter if I hit the enter key, you hit the enter key, the numbers are the same. You're getting good, repeatable, accurate data. The other difference with the micrometer is that we're actually going to be able to see and measure internal components of the double seam, like the overlap, like the seam gap, that are critical. And the only way to, to measure those and see those and see actually the shape of your seam, have you got a good form, is by looking at a cross section. Interesting. Yeah, it's a really good point that you brought up of how different people can get different measurements with this. That's one of the things that we work on during our training and install all the time with people is that even on the same can, sometimes you can go around and get slightly different measurements and you don't have full security of knowledge of what is exactly happening in this double overlap where this kind of eliminates that human error in a lot of ways so that you know it's predictable and you get the exact measurements out of it. Yep, I mean, you, you could get people who are very skilled and very repeatable themselves with a micrometer, yeah. but you know you can essentially angle it okay. in, in any way you want. And you're applying, again, this, this tool, for example, has a very light spring pressure, whereas you can apply an, an incredible amount of torque if you really crank down the, yeah. uh, the micrometer, and you, know, you can actually kind of manipulate you know, the thickness data that you get. Oh, that's great. And it's also, this is not something that you just test your seams once, and then you can just trust your filler seamer afterwards that it's going to run. It's guaranteed that your seamer is going to go out of spec. The seamer has a lot of rotational forces going on and that the little tolerances are going to go out of spec. We like to suggest that people test their seams beginning, middle, and end of every run. They actually document that and they save the data. I understand that there's software that hooks up to any computer and you could keep that data, correct? Yep, so I mean, it's a completely digital system, so all of your, your numbers, your, your measurement data are saved you know, forever, um, and the images of the seams. So, you know, heaven forbid you had an issue, you, know, you have a digital image of what's going on, what your seam looks like, it's easy enough to wing an email out to you know, uh, an expert at Cody and say, hey, this is what we're seeing, help me out, and, and you can advise kind of adjustments based on the, you know, the actual seams that they're getting right then and there. And you have a, a date stamp on that so that you could link it to a batch so that if you have that in your cooler and you potentially have a recall issue or something like that, you could go back to the actual hard data that you know came from that run so that you have security that the problem that potentially could result in a recall is not related to that seam. Exactly. Yep. Interesting. Now, we're looking at a lot of standard beverage cans here, but as uh, craft packagers of a variety of different beverages are looking for a variety of different can sizes. Does this equipment work with a standard, slim, sleek, king, jumbo? It works with and is working with every size of and type of beverage can you know imaginable. We've done this since you know the early 70s. Um, this is our area of expertise. Um, so we can tailor a system to exactly what your kind of you know real world canning solution is or okay. canning reality is. And the package that is sold directly by Cody includes the digital micrometer, the cutting device, the imagery software to actually see what's happening, as well as the software, and the customer provides their own computer. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, so largely, um, we can provide a computer if you'd want, um, but, but nine times out of 10, a customer would provide their own. Okay. Um, the, the standard Cody package is the, the imager um, and the saw with whatever adapters for your different can sizes you may have, and optional add-ons are the, are the digital gauges. Okay, great. And they can go directly to Cody or they can purchase it from you. Uh, you guys have provided an amazing website, which I believe is craftseams.com, and that has yep. all the information about this particular unit that we're looking at right here. Beverage. And how long has this company been doing this? Um, 1972 um, was the first, uh, the DP1, 
was the, was the seam inspection product at that time, which was yeah. basically a digital shadow box. Um, and we've been the, the market leader, both in terms of you know, units in the field um, since then. And I would also say kind of evolutions of technology. So um, you know, this is many iterations of the software, many new features that we've incorporated you know, based on customer request. Um, we even now have non-destructive systems using x-rays that can um, you know, look at all of this stuff without you having to you know, waste your valuable beer. Um, and we can even fully automate that and put that in line. So um, we're constantly trying to, to push the technology and, and move it forward and offer our customers more. So there's kind of different stages that might be applicable for different customers' uh, budgets and interest in analyzing this. Most people are going to start with the hand system, then they're going to invest in this, and then your larger players yeah, are going to get the in-line yeah. But that, you know, as your customers grow, you know, we can grow the kind of the, the measurement solutions with them. But yeah, this is really the core product line. This will be what the vast majority of of craft beverage customers are, are interested in. That's awesome. Um, where is this manufactured? Berlin in Germany. Okay. So we, we do have a facility here in the US, so we, we have these units on the shelf um, for quick response to customers. If they're having needs, hopefully they're not, but if they are having issues, sometimes there's an urgency there. Yep. Um, so we do stock them in the US. You know, We obviously have a dedicated service team that's constantly traveling the US to support these. Um, but the actual manufacture, yeah, is in, is in Berlin in Germany. One of the things that I've always found intriguing when talking to customers about this is that you might have 10 breweries in your neighborhood and you might be the only person that invests in this and you could often have a little side income by doing some testing for some local friends at the same time, right? That's true. I mean, I would rather you encourage your friends to buy another system from <laughs> us, but yeah, theoretically, you could make some pocket money that way, yes. <laughs> they get to see how good it works. Yeah, yeah that's true. But, <laughs> yep. um, I get to hang out with you guys every year at CBC, so uh, you can always check them out at the Craft Brewers Conference. Um, otherwise, you could work direct with Cody Sales to purchase one of these units. We encourage you to go to craftseams.com to educate yourself a little bit more. If you have questions about other products that might be better aligned with what your company needs are outside of the scope of what we're looking at here, what's the best way for them to get in contact with you guys directly? Um, probably to email us sales at craftseams.com and one of our regional sales reps will kind of get back in touch with you and kind of work you through the process. Awesome. Well, John, thanks so much for the time today. My pleasure. Appreciate everyone's time and look forward to new more videos in the future. Have a great day. Cheers.